Uh, my name is Jeff Ryder, Economic Development Director for the City. Uh, we appreciate you all coming out today. This is uh, uh, another great opportunity to showcase downtown Bettendorf. And um, with the passing of our new SMID ordinance last week, uh, we continue the momentum, some great things happening. So thank you all for being down here today. I would just like to tee it up here for Mayor Gallagher and ask him to come forward, talk a little bit about our program, and talk about a little bit of the future of downtown Bettendorf. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you all for coming out. Obviously, we've got great representation from the city of Bettendorf, not only city council people, but department heads. Those folks who are working with our downtown DBO are here. Thank you all very much. Great anchors in our downtown and great people who understand and recognize the importance of public art in our downtown community. So thank you all for coming out. It's a great crowd for a public art unveiling. We've been in uh, cooperation with Quad City Arts now for over 10 years, placing public art throughout our downtown and our community. Each piece is rented or leased for a year and then might become a permanent fixture downtown. Some go to businesses who purchase them, like our folks down here to the left. Uh, some stay here at the Isle of Capri or move around our city like on Martha's Point. That's a great example of a piece of art that we purchased. So thank you all for coming out for this wonderful day and thanks to Quad City Arts for our great partnership. There are other spots around the city where you see public art. In fact, the Quad City Metro Arts program which is comprised of children or young people 15 to 21 years old who take part in a paid internship to create public art, have great examples throughout our community. One is at the Isle of Capri. There's a really cool mural on the steps as you come in to the Isle of Capri now. And they're at other places around town, including on Lincoln Road. There's a mural painted there. And there's some other spots, including utility boxes, and seven other locations around town like the sports fans back door on the bike path and the utility box besides champions trophies so we have over 30 items of public art on display and a map showing those items you can find at bettendorf.org one of our past council members debbie lamar would have had her birthday today and debbie was really um, integral in bringing public art to our community. She sat on the board and she always advocated for more money and more resources, more places in our community for public art. So it's fitting today that on what would be Debbie's birthday, we get to uh, dedicate uh, the new public art in our community, and I'm going to look to make sure I pronounce this person's name right. David, excuse me, Donald, that's why I had to look. Donald Harsman has created a sculpture that we're in front of here called Bird. So thank you to Donald, and thank you to all of our artists and our great partnership with Quad City Arts. And to talk more about that, it's my pleasure to bring up Kevin Miner. Do I say it right? Maynard. Maynard. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Gallagher. Uh, I really just want to thank the city of Bettendorf uh, for their continued support of Quad City Arts and their commitment to public art in the community and recognizing its importance to a vibrant and uh, a healthy community. So thank you all for that. Uh, Mayor Gallagher touched on the public sculpture as well as the Metro Arts program. Uh, Metro Arts is one of my favorite programs that we do, not only because of the great public art that it puts into our communities, but because of the youth aspect of uh, being able to reach those 15 to 21 year olds and really honing their skills. Uh, really kind of the most impressive thing that you'll see throughout the community is seeing the growth of those uh, murals uh, as these as these kids grow up and the artists uh, become more and more talented. Uh, it's a really great program and it teaches them that art is uh, can be a career, it can be a hobby, it can be all sorts of things. So thank you guys for supporting Quad City Arts and supporting our, our public art programs uh, and everything that you do for our community. So thank you. Thank you, Kevin Maynard. Sorry about that. Again, thank you all for coming out. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to walk down State Street here in Benton, North Iowa and see all the lovely public art that we have. Appreciate all of your support through Quad City Arts and for all of you coming out. Thanks to the DBO for the folks downtown, Ryan Jancy and the, those who put together the Schmidt down here. Uh, we've got great participants, not only at k, k where you see a mural, but from a central credit union right here on the side. All great folks. Build the suit next door. There's some public art there. So thank you all for your participation and your help financially and otherwise within the city of Bettendorf. We look forward to the great things you're going to bring to downtown under Ryan's leadership. Thank you all for being here.